James Bear on YouTube. He fucked his sister. The document that revealed that this guy slammed his sister is 182 pages long. 182! I've never read a document this big. I don't even know why people release documents about YouTubers this long because as horrible as it is, who the hell is going to read 182 pages? I feel like I'm the only one who's going to do it. Let's hop right into it. On the 11th of February 2016, James messaged me on Twitter. He was really depressed at the time and told me he had a crush on Toxic Soul 77 I told her she has a beautiful voice after listening to her audio. I nearly cried, and she blushed. And she's Meg Senpai. Ubu nu lol. We both live in Canada, and we're born on the first week of July. I'm born on the 6th, and she's born on the 7th. Yeah, she calls me cute and adorable. And about that whole Claire thing before, I really liked Claire before. I didn't know at first that you were dating her. I was hurt while she told me. Don't worry, you can still talk to her. Secondly, uh, I'm really sorry to hear about the Clarissa thing. It's okay, it's not like anyone likes me anyways. I deserve this for what things I did. What things I did. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What are we getting into? Once again, James start being negative again. And I have to help him again through his depression. <laughs> again. I have to help him through his depression. Oh, God. I know love isn't easy. I'll just stab my loving heart and stop loving and be mean. Well, what can I do to help you? I don't know. Heartbroken emoji. Sad. I have no one. I don't know if you're going to say, Oh, you have us. We love you. But I'm always third wheeling? And Michelle, I don't know. Fuck her. She doesn't respond to me anymore. I don't need love. I ask him, why can't I help you? And he reply, insert two sad emoji, because you have someone that you love and you shouldn't help that person. Oh geez, wonder what he mean by someone you love. He can't possibly be thinking about Clarissa yet again because he wouldn't shut up about it. Jeez, James, you know Clarissa is taken. So shut up and move on, kid. How I keep saying, we all love you. And he also said, fuck Michelle. Wow, James, giving up already. And you talk about her like that? No wonder she doesn't want to be with such a whiny person who whine about everything. I don't need love. Sad emoji again. Then shut up and stop complaining about you wanting to be with Toxic. Or even Clarissa, which I told him so many times that she's taken. Learn to listen. He responds, no, I won't. You have no clue on what I went through in my life. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. I'm here for you. Nobody is here for me. I'm here. No, you can't help me. It's too late to help. I wish I was you, though. I mean, you got good stuff and a pretty girlfriend. I wish I had those stuff. <laughs> well, by the way, pretty girlfriend. Aw, thank you. It's true. She's beautiful. Please don't rub it in my face. He even said that I shouldn't find love. Then why the hell are you trying to be with Toxic or Clarissa? And also, why do you keep saying sad shit like, I wish I could be with her. Just move on. James says, thank you. Huh? You lucky you and Claire dating. I, I, I know I complain about it. Like, you know, not complain. Talk about it. Sighs. Sorry. Lucky you and Claire. Don't worry. It's fine. I love talking to you. And your art always impressed me. And Clarissa. Sighs sadly. But for some reason, I have a thing. N -n Never mind. Just tell me, pat your head. You can talk to me about anything. Don't worry, James. I have a thing for... For Clarissa? Looks down. Mm-hmm. Aw, oh, James. Pat, pat. Don't worry. You can still talk to her and even draw her. Maybe I'll draw her OVO. And draw... What? At the time, this guy's 16. But I feel like you should have the social skills to not say you want to draw... Your friend's girl naked in a DM to him? Oh my god, bro. Holy shit, James says. And I really don't think I'm a good friend. I mean, for Pete's sake, I like your girlfriend, and I'm under a lot of shit in my life. When I first met her, she made me feel so happy, until she told me that you and her were dating. Frankly, I've been sad for almost two years. I may be happy, but because I'm happy to be alive at times. But Aaron... I told Claire a lot of things about my past. They were legit horrible. I don't think you can handle it. Oh no. I'm 19. Don't worry. I can handle it. I'm here for you. Well, I'm gonna type. This may take a while. What do you have to send me? Is the most fucked up message I've ever read. Oh no, I already read one part of it. I already read that I had sex with my sister part. No way. Oh my god, I don't want to see this la- Dude, I'm moving? And my apartment kind of has thin walls, I don't want to- 
I, I'll read it. I'll read it for you guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. It all began in February 2013 when I began to get a little friend called depression. I didn't know at the time and I did something terrible. I had sex with my sister. Oh my god, you've been saying that out loud. I have three sisters, so like, okay. Okay. <sighs> Which at the time I was 13 and she, I'm not even going to read this in a performative way. I just have to get through it. All right. Which at the time I was 13 and she was 9. Fuck. If this makes you better, I'm suffering emotionally. And I did it because of depression. Someone told me that depression can't make you do things. And I've been doing till, I'm gonna say, till between 2015 and 2016. And I don't know, it's still affecting me. In 2014, I got beat up outside in a cold winter night and I got sick. And that sickness could have killed me. In 2015, I got sick again while I was sick. I cried myself to sleep. I began to lose friends. My depression kept getting to me. My dad emotionally abused me too. And so, uh, January 2016, I began to feel like shit and I nearly took my own life, but I didn't. And I went to sleep. My friend Alex told me that day that I should, and I forgot to tell him that I'm going to sleep, got worried and phoned the RCMP and they took me to the hospital. They were checking on me to see if I'm okay, but it was, yeah, I got sick again, but okay. Yeah, that's what really happened. But don't tell anyone, by the way. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the message I've been waiting to show you for a long, long time. Why did you wait? Why did you wait? Everyone thinks James is so perfect and he did nothing wrong. Well, this is the true James. This is what James did. So read it. How does he still live in the same house as her? This is page 14 out of 182. I'm actually surprised now James' sister didn't report him or even tell her parent or the police. His parents didn't know? And we've been doing it till... I'm going to say between 2015 and 16. What, what, what? You tell me you were... No way. Three years? And she never told her parents. No way, bro. Holy shit. Why do you keep doing it? You done it, but why would you keep doing it when you know it's disgusting and messed up? What's wrong with you, you sick, twisted fuck? No wonder everyone hate you so much. Because you, James, fucking your sister for four years, four... Four critical years, might I add. Four critical years from 9 to 13? That's literally when you, like, get into puberty. I can't even believe that. I should have blocked this and warned Carissa about you, James Bear. Yeah, why didn't you? Why is this coming out five years later? You just had to wait for James Bear to get more subs to come out with this? I'm not a huge fan of the guy who's exposing this either. Like, why did he wait so long? My response for the fifth and final time. First of all, I'd like to apologize to everyone who are upset and disgusted by some of the claims that are being thrown at me by what appears to be a premeditated attack on me as a person. Second, I'm ashamed for what occurred in the past and I'm working towards being a better human being. However, the claim of me being a pedophile, rapist, and molester is not true. The amount of harassment and threats that I've been receiving because of this is astronomical. Third, about my past, as much as it pains me to confront it, my past was never meant to be public knowledge and was leaked five years ago by a person who hates my guts for ridiculous reasons, which is why the document exists. It was a childish attempt on trying to make me break up with someone they liked and wanted back. As time went on, after dealing with this situation on multiple occasions, with the last five years of my life, I've been labeled a monster yet again and I'm forced to respond to these people. My past again was never meant for anyone to hear and was a sick, twisted ploy to make me look bad. When really, these people, including you reading this, don't know my full story, you don't know my personal life, you don't know me personally, and you will never get to know because I don't need to tell you. I don't owe you any more attention because I'm trying to be a better human with each passing day. Those will have ill will against me. I'm sorry. I'm flawed just like everyone else. This is my fifth and final response to this. I'm so tired of having to deal with it once and for all. So when I was looking this up briefly, I think I found like another statement from James. It says, with what's been bring brought up about me, I have to admit that the sister thing, it did happen, but only once. And we were just kids and it was consensual. Anything else about me being a pedophile or grooming on minors is not true whatsoever. Those messages are over four years old to a 13 year old while I was only 16 years old. Therefore, I was a minor myself. I made a mistake when I was a kid and I didn't know it was bad. But those mistakes I made back all those years ago don't define who I am today. I'm a completely different person. I'll be taking a break since the threats and false accusations have taken a huge toll 
on Claire and I's mental health. So yeah, I just wanted to clear the air on that front. Anyways, going back to the document, the author says, After what you have done to me, and how you treat me like shit, I think it's about time I show everyone this sob story, and let everyone know the truth about you. That include Clarissa as well. And oh, don't tell anyone, by the way. <laughs> oh James, you will regret what you did to me. Phew, finally explain about that sob story. And James having sex with his 13 year old sister. This is his initial reaction to the sister fucking. Oh my god, I'm speechless. I'm sorry, please don't be mad. Dude, I will never get mad, especially my friends. I totally un- You totally understand? What is there to understand? What you need to know was that it was in the past. Move on! Think of today. I'm here talking to you, because you are my friend. Oh, but 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 what do you think of it? Really depressing. However, you have change. Sigh, I wish. I just wish I had a girlfriend. Hug, don't worry, you will have one. Yeah, but I want someone this my age. Holds my head. Aw, James, pat your head. I've never DM'd like this. Uh, in all these fucking twit longers that I read, like the Arcadium ones and all of that, and like Call Me Carson or whatever, there's always like, pats your head, gives you snuggles. Ooh woo! Like, I've never, ever messaged anyone like this, even when I was younger. Jesus. <laughs> okay, he responds, what? You will find someone, I believe in you. But I like Claire, but- Oh, I wish I haven't have emotions! Holy shit! I hate myself. I know you like Clarissa. Damn, James. I feel sorry for you. It's my fault. I knew I shouldn't have talked to her. But oh, shy stupid me. Has to be shy. Ugh. I'm sorry. I told him he will find someone, and then he said, I want someone that's my age. No, James, your nine-year-old sister doesn't count. Later, I said to him that I believe in him, and James said to me, But I like Claire. James, Clarissa is taken. I was dating her. Okay, so Clarissa and Claire is the same. If I said that, I'm dating Clarissa, or Clarissa said she's taken, then move on, find someone else, stay toxic, anyone but someone who is dating. You can't just steal someone. Or did he? I know you like Clarissa. Damn, James. I feel sorry for you. It's my fault. I know I should have talked to her. But oh, shy stupid me has to be shy. Ugh, I'm sorry. I legit feel like hurting myself. Don't hurt yourself. And don't be sorry. I felt shy when I first talked to her. Because you're older. I never talk to girls that much. Ugh. I'm such a mean person. I'm sorry. You are not a mean person. Listen, I'm 19 and I still get shy. Don't worry. Hugs tightly. I need to find something to hurt myself. Please don't, James. Jesus, man. Now, a lot of people in the chat are saying right now, this sounds like it was wrote, written by, like, a kid. The guy was 19 in 2016, so that means he would be 25 this year. Same age as me, and he's writing like this. A month later, we started talking. And then, J why would you still talk to him a month later after you found out he fucked his sister? He really said, ZAM, he's 12? Yeah, it's like, oh, it's worse than ZAM, he's 12. It's worse! ZAM, she's 9 and my sister? Fucking gross as hell. There's a fucking anime pilot in here? Okay, so we've all heard of the show Claire and James. The only show where James can actually finish and focus on one project that he's involved with, Clarissa. Now, you might be thinking, hey Aaron, why are you talking about this? Which can pretty much sum up the majority of his document, but, you might think it's just a cute animation series, but, there's something fucked up about the series, and that is, the way James treat her in this series. So let's begin. So, basically, James added a scene when Clarissa stripped in front of James. Well that is a fucking horrible thing to do, James. She could get changed somewhere else, and not have a creep like James staring at her while she's getting changed? Fucking hell, James. Anyway, after that James stares at Clarissa stripping scene, Clarissa come back, and she's wearing a kitten outfit. She's asked nicely to James, what do you think? And you would think James blushes and says something cute to her. Right? Wrong! It looked like shit. Let me fucking repeat that. James said to Clarissa, it looked like shit. Now, you might think with how Aaron, the author of this document, is describing the cartoon, it wouldn't be up on YouTube for long. It would get age-restricted, demonetized, I mean, there's a stripping girl in it, apparently. Well, it's actually still on YouTube, so I can show you guys the offending material. That was offensive enough to have this entire segment written on it. Hey, Claire. Sorry. 
So, what do you think? It looks really good on you. What about you? Where's your cute outfit? Um. Hold on. I think I actually have something. Alright, I'm back. Whoa. So, what do you think? Hmm. It looks like shit. And the 25-year-old's reaction in his tw in his 180-page Google document? What? You find that funny? You think insulting her is a fucking joke? You really think this is okay? Do you not know how she feels when you said that horrible thing to her? How dare you? I thought you were going to say something cute, but no, you insulted her. And just for what? Comedy and views? You think you're the most best boyfriend ever when you said that to her that she looks like shit? If that was me, I would blush and say, you look cute. But instead, you call her shit! Oh shit, you really so think that's how you treat her? You even told her to play her your sob story and she would sit down for the public James. Thanks so much to Doge MP4 for animating that segment. It was so funny. I appreciate it a lot. You guys should go check him out on Twitter. But continuing on with the document, the author says, Fucking hell. No wonder Claire intoxicate you so much because you made them sick. And also, you are so fucked up. You even told Claire your sob story and she would sick after she read the part when James did something INCEST! Like imagine if James met Clarissa. He saw her and he said to her, You look like shit. YOU REALLY THINK THAT'S HOW YOU TREAT A LADY, YOU RUDE FUCK?! How come everything you think this is normal and funny when I'm just insult and feel sick? How James can talk to her like that? Like everyone think I'm a bad person for liking Clarissa when JAMES said to Clarissa that she looks like shit. Fuck off, James. You can't talk to her like that, you rude fuck. I honestly feel so sorry for Clarissa. After hearing James insult her like that, it made me feel so sick. I wish I could talk to her and tell her that James insult her. Fucking hell, James. I hate you. I hate how you treat her. Over... this. So, what do you think? Hmm... It looks like shit. HOW DARE YOU FUCKING CALL HER blah, 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 blah. Oh my god, he does a commentary on all of it? Notice how both James and Clarissa are naked. I feel sick. What do you mean they're dating? And James suddenly turned into a demon and stares at her. But oh geez, what could this possibly mean? I know. James is recreating what he did to his sister animated with Clarissa instead. What the fuck is wrong with you, James? This is the second episode and you can't make a single episode without using her body or stripping her. What is wrong with you? Leave her alone, you incest rapist. Jeez, I wonder why James got a nosebleed. Alright, let's find out how Aaron concludes this 182 page document. His grand finale and conclusion to exposing James for stealing his girlfriend, along with some little incest he tacked on for the fun of it because clearly that wasn't the main focus of this document, which it really should have been, but regardless, he ends this off by saying, Hey Clarissa. If you are reading this, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything. I'm so sorry for keeping all this a secret and been bottling it up for a year. The reason I didn't tell you anything James said to me on Twitter or Skype, it was because I didn't want to hurt our relationship. I was scared. I was scared that James will tell you and that the relationship could have ended thanks to James. So you were scared that if you told her that James fucked his sister, that she would end her relationship with you to be with James? Anyway, he continues by saying, I really wish I could tell you this earlier and show you the screenshot of the horrible things James did to me, but I was scared and I didn't want to ruin our relationship. I've been getting attacked by James non-stop behind your back because I didn't want you to get involved. I wanted to focus on our relationship, but at the same time, I had to deal with the James problem and also his non-stop harassment. He had said some horrible things about me, our relationship, James' jealousy, and of course, he told you lied about me just so he can get closer to you and make me look bad, and James showing off that he's better than me. I may not have the most many subscribers or followers. I may not been the most talented artist or animator like James, but I want you to know that I love you so much. 
No wonder this fucking post is so long. It's like a love letter. He made a 182 page Google document exposing her boyfriend as a child fucker, as a sister fucker, to get back with her. If you were really super disgusted by James fucking his sister, wouldn't you also be disgusted with Clarissa for willingly dating someone who would do that to his sister? Wait, wait, wait. Didn't earlier in the post, he was like telling James, Clarissa's already dating someone. Get over it. Move on. But I mean, Clarissa and James have been dating for like, what, like four years? And he's still simping. I've been worried about you nonstop. I was scared. I was scared James is going to do horrible things to you. I was scared because I didn't get the chance to tell you the truth about James Bear. Just fucking DM her and say that he's a kid fucker. I don't know. Like, why this whole pose? What he did to me. What he said to me. How he treated my friend. Do you really think Clarissa's gonna read this whole 182 page document? It's my job to read these long ass documents. And I'm not even reading the whole thing. This is why I made this. To fight back. To show you, Clarissa, my side of the story. Something I should have told you last year. I wish I did, but I was so scared. Clarissa, if you're reading this, I'm sorry. And I miss you so much. Every day I've been worrying about you. I missed you, Clarissa. Thank you for all the love, support from September 2015 to... What's with these specific ass dates, dude? Thank you specifically for the love from September 2015 to the 15th of July 2016. Is that how long you were with her? You got the dates memorized? We broke up on the 15th of July 2016. Dude, that was like six years ago. You have got to be the best, most beautiful, kindest, sweetest person I've ever met in my life. Clarissa- The dots, dude! The dot, dot, dot! Did he really fucking expose someone as a kid fucker to get back with? <laughs> no way! Oh my god, I love you so much. Please share this with everyone. Copy the document and share it. Everyone needs to know the truth about James Bear. <gasps> okay, James is like a fucked up individual for what he did, but just the whole premise of this being written to get back with- This has to be the stupidest attempt ever. And it's really funny because earlier in the document, at the very beginning of the document, he's like mo he, he, rightfully so, I might add, because, you know, 16-year-old James in these DMs are, is being pretty- pretty socially inept but he's like shitting on james for being like socially inept like you simping over my girlfriend's inappropriate whatever and then he this guy has been down bad for six years and this is his last straw he is he's is so down bad he wrote an 82 page do document one that if i go from the bottom to the top it has trouble loading this is pngs and it's having trouble loading it because it's so fucking big Dude, oh my god, this is so much fun. This whole document is so much funnier with the context that he was- Oh my god. He definitely saved the best for last. I want to see more of the petty shit. Fetish? Slavey Jammy! What? Yes, you saw that right. James drew himself as a slavey for toxic. As you can tell, James wanted to draw his really weird kinky slave drawing of himself and wanted to be a slave for Toxic. I mean, imagine Toxic opening her Twitter and saw this. Yeah, you would really be freak out. But you wonder, did James actually make this for Toxic? Or is it James' creepy fetish? Well, he did. He said it himself. It was inspired by Toxic, aka his crush. Like, wow, are you trying to get her attention? Are you begging for her to be your slave? Look, you call me creepy, James. But this is just fuck weird as fuck, James. This is a year later, and you can tell how fucking creepy James is. But wait, there's more. My master, I'm also slave to her. He even admitted in the next drawing, three drawing of James wanting to be toxic slave in a row. Not only that, but he drew her in one day. That Invader Zim drawing of two James being kinky and wanting to be slave to toxic? You know what's the strangest part about this? James isn't even dating Toxic. He's just randomly drawing Toxic and posts some random picture just to impress her. I mean, I don't mind if he's trying so hard to impress her, but trying to be her slave is really creepy. And if you like that kinky shit, watch 50 Sage of Grey or something. I don't fucking care. Just leave Toxic alone. She might be creeped out or have no interest in you whatsoever. Actually, I would have been creeped out, but I also feel sorry for Toxic. Here's another example. He called her pretty on Twitter. Okay, remember when I commented picture- 
Dude, this guy is going through every little detail in the last five years. Every little detail. He has evidence of James calling someone cute on Twitter in 2016. That's how deep we're going. You told me and everyone you wasn't obsessed with Toxic. You wasn't obsessed with her. Well, look at you! Look at the tweets! Guess what? There's more. A Deadpool sequel has been greenlit at Toxic. Looky here. So, Deadpool is getting a sequel. Which I watched the first one, and it was amazing. And since we know that Toxic liked Deadpool, guess what? He tagged her and all like, looky here. You tell me off for tagging Clarissa and things, but it's like perfectly okay when you do it twice in Vader's Zim drawing and Deadpool sequel. I know it's last year, but come on, man. Try to learn to remember so you don't attack me when you did it before me. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Okay, off topic. But James liked his own tweet! <laughs> wow! I can't believe this. I guess he doesn't really feel lonely for trying so hard. <laughs> he liked his own tweet! Three days later, James made another tweet about her. Also, lolzers. What the fuck does that even mean? James, it's three letters! How can you even fail in spelling three letters? And also, another hugs thing and random face thing. But yet, James keeps messaging me over and over how he keeps thinking Toxic doesn't like him. Oh, jeez. I wonder why. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Did James really send Motivation Alien Lamau to the girl? How the hell is a meme or a gif? I don't give a shit. Supposed to give her motivation? I think the only motivation she needs is to ignore you, or just imagine you don't exist. Done. And she liked the tweet, but didn't reply! Ouch! Dude, she liked it, but she didn't reply. That one gotta hurt, James. <laughs> what the fuck? This guy's insane! Oh my god, this guy is literally insane. Dude, okay, James fucked his sister, alright? James is not the good guy in this whatsoever, but Aaron is a fucking... Whew! He is fucking crazy. Oh my god. Bullshit, bullshit, bull... It sounded like he had a mental breakdown typing this. Because, like, this wasn't proofread at all. There's so many, like, spelling mistakes. And this is, again, a 182-page document. This is what he was like while typing it, right? Bullshit! <laughs> Ah, fuck James! James is fucking shitty! And James did this and James did that! Blah, blah, blah. That's what he was like the whole fucking time. My friend asked me if he was Christian. And James said, yeah, why? James is Christian? Bullshit! If he was Christian, how come it's okay for you to date and have a crush on someone who's five years older than you? And no, James, having sex with your nine-year-old sister at the age of 13 doesn't make you a Christian. You would go straight to hell, James. Big hands fetish. Have you noticed he has been drawing lots of characters and himself with big hands or big arms? Oh, and you've got to love the 666 added on his arm. Yes, you will notice 6666 or 69 a lot. Probably his favorite number. I wonder why he loves the number 69 so much. Probably of what he used to do to someone. Oh my god, this fucking commentary. It's like comedic in a sense. He looks at everything James does, even like the non-bad shit, like having like, liking big hands. And he's like, <laughs> I wonder why they like big hands. Probably because you fucked your sister. <laughs> I wonder like why like demons. Probably because you fucked your sister. <laughs> Wait, he has, he has the numbers down to a scion. Even if he got 20 plus K subscribers, 1,700 plus followers on Twitter, 700 plus followers on Instagram, 198 plus followers on Vidme, 167K, 90 plus views in total on YouTube. Get to animate for Starbomb Reanimate Collab, Game Grumps Reanimate Collab, make animation for Pyro and Luna, get a shit ton of recognition thanks to Pyro and Luna shout out. His two Edge World animation got 222K views and 100. <laughs> it's so specific! Famous animator slash artist following him and the girlfriend. He's still satisfied. <laughs> oh my god. Me sad. No shit, James. That is all you are. You always sad no matter what. You're so fucking sad that even sadness from the inside out is happier than you. Just fucking stop, James. Just stop what you're doing and just fuck off, you sad shit. Oh, boo fucking who. You're sad because you're still using intro into into. I've been using Wacom Bamboo for four years. 
I did post a sad doodle saying about how I still have a Wacom bamboo. No, I didn't, because I'm not a sad attention seeker. Stop being fucking sad. <laughs> Stop being fucking sad. Get a job and save up some money to buy yourself a better graphics tablet if you w are gonna whine about it. <laughs> the fucking reply. The fucking reactions. Oh my god. Fuck off, James. Just fuck off. You got over a hundred thousand million followers on Twitter, you fucking dumbass. You should be happy that you got that many. A <laughs> thousand seven hundred plus. You should be happy you even got a friend. Actually, he doesn't. So what? Clarissa doesn't count as a cool artist? Fuck off. Stop treating Clarissa like this, you useless sad shit. Be happy that you even got lots of followers. So. Sam's birthday was the 6th of July, 2017. And guess what he drew himself? Him being sad on his 18th birthday. You're gonna be a fucking 18 and you're still not happy? At least it's better than, <laughs> than fucking what you did when you were 13. Cough, soft story, cough. And also, you got a thousand... Uh, dude, remember, he has a thousand seven hundred plus followers and twenty thousand plus subscribers. And they gonna say happy birthday to you, but guess what? You're still not fucking happy. You even got Clarissa. You got a girlfriend to celebrate your fucking birthday. Clarissa didn't celebrate my birthday. I was fucking crying because she did, I haven't been wanting to... Waiting to celebrate my birthday with... <laughs> Oh my god. Dude, I feel like there is so much gold in this 182 page Google document that people are just skimming over because there's so many pages in this document. Oh my god. Dude, this is way more fun than just reading everything in order, just going around a random post and see what's up. You even got Clarissa! You got a girlfriend to celebrate your fucking birthday! Clarissa didn't celebrate my birthday. I was fucking crying because I had I had been waiting to celebrate my birthday with Clarissa! But no, you had to ruin it for me. And still not happy on your birthday when you were with Clarissa. Just fuck off, you ungrateful 18-year-old shit! Jame, you are always fucking sad. Every day, every minute, every second of your shitty life, you've always been fucking sad. Even when you got everything you wanted, you're still sad. Even when you got shit tons of subscribers and followers and my girlfriend, you're still fucking sad. But even when you got my girlfriend, Clarissa, oh, he actually said that. I added that in for flavor. He actually said that. Even when you got my girlfriend, Clarissa, you're still fucking sad and listening to your voice. Holy shit, don't you like the a fucking sad emo? You're trying so hard to be deep and depressing, but you literally sound like you're begging for people to feel sorry for a cunt like you. Fucking hell, James. This is the best Google document. Honestly, everybody should write their Google documents like this. I'm tired of people being like, oh, I'm coming out with these allegations. The YouTuber was so mean to me. It was so hard. He abused me, blah, blah, blah. No, just call him a fucking cunt and a bitch and fucking show all the evidence, but like react to it in all caps. Like, fuck you, piece of shit. That's what you get, dude. You're just sad. You're just sad. Bullshit! You have always been sad. No matter how perfect your life is, you are always sad. Not even you got everything you wanted, you're still sad. Normal post? Bullshit! More like shitty sad post from James Bear. Shut your fucking mouth, James, and stop begging for attention. And your voice? Your voice?! You trying so hard to sound sad. Why are you even sad in the first place? Even when you got a girlfriend, you're still sad. What more do you want? A million subscribers? Make animation for TV? channel what the fuck do you want what more do you want james just fucking pissed off and be sad somewhere else anywhere james you sad shit go somewhere else no one gives a shit about you or your shitty life just fuck off you retarded retarded sad mistake right I'm done with this James fetish section. Basically, James is a fe sad fuck who can't be happy, no matter how many subscribers or followers, or even ruined someone's life and stole my girlfriend. You're still sad. Fuck it. I'm done. Let's just end and go to the next section. Fucking hell, James. I hate you so much. You pissed me off so much. Fuck you, James. <laughs> but everything changed on one day. The worst day of my life. July 15th, 2016. The day before my little brother Seb's birthday. James, I knew it! Why did you do this to me? Dude, what the fuck did I do? I'm pretty sure you know. What is it then? 
Aaron, Aaron, answer me. Clarissa. On July 15th, 2016, Clarissa broke up with me. The day before my little brother's birthday. No, I'm not going to show you the screenshot of Clarissa breaking up with me. You have a 182 page document. This is a pivotal moment in it and you're not showing it. But when I asked who she is dating instead, I knew, I knew exactly who. I knew since the beginning. James fucking bear. I knew he was using me to get what he wanted and I tr knew he was trying to make me look bad and make me feel negative. He was trying to make me depressed so he could be happy instead. As soon as I knew James was dating Clarissa, I fucking messaged him in rage. I was so mad at him for betraying and backstabbing me to death. So I said to his fucking face, James, I knew it because I knew he was the one who was doing this to me. Why did you do this to me? I knew he would try his best to make me feel sorry for him so he could seek behind me and get what he wanted. He doesn't give a shit about how I feel or even use common sense how much it hurt for being betrayed. James responded with this. What the fuck did I do? Blah, 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 blah. What? Don't act like you don't know what just fucking happened. You act like you have no clue what just happened to me. Of course you would know. You told Chris all the horrible lies about me and then telling her to break up with me and so you could steal her from me. Of course you fucking knew what you did, you retard. I knew he can't just not know. Yet again, he's trying so hard to act innocent, act like he doesn't know shit about what happened. Then, I would just have one word for him. Clarissa. Because he knew, he would know, that he did something to Clarissa. He did something horrible so he can ruin my life. He can get what he wanted. Ooh. What an absolutely great villain origin story. Wow, that was a lot more fun to read than I actually thought it would be. Considering that the headline of this is that he fucked his sister. But the guy's reaction to him stealing his girlfriend just made this all worthwhile. At least for me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed as well. If you hadn't noticed, this is actually an edit from my live stream that I did two weeks ago. It did take a long time to edit though. There's a lot of changes, a lot of cuts. So for those of you who didn't want to watch the full two hour VOD, hopefully this video was satisfactory. If you don't want to miss more streams in the future, be sure to follow my Twitch page, twitch.tv slash boblax, and also subscribe to this YouTube channel so you don't miss any more videos. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in another video.